again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we have got ourselves a project. This is the Cloister Shell Market Bag. Really easy, works up fast, and I couldn't be more pleased with the results. And so dragging it down a little bit here, you can see that this is a, a one piece. The, the handles are worked into the top. It works up very, very fast. Once you get the base done, it is a very easy repeat to follow. Um, for this project, I used Lion Brand's Kobu yarn. Never used this before, but I thought that this would be really nice for this bag because it does have cotton in it. In fact, it is, let me see here, if I can get it to focus. All right, <laughs> this is 51% cotton and 49% rayon from bamboo. By the way, Lion Brand is sponsoring this video. Thank you so very much for your continued support. I appreciate it ever so much. And I thought that this yarn would be perfect for this particular project because cotton tends to stretch a lot less. Also, uh, it is machine washable and dryable. Yep, machine washable and dryable. Uh, it is approximately three and a half ounces, 232 yards, and it is a weight of three. Now, here's the extra bonus. With just one skein, with one cake of this yarn, I managed to create the entire bag. Extra bonus right there. Um, and the colorway of this particular yarn is steel blue. Now, for today's example, going to be using the same yarn in the colorway of beige so that it'll be a little bit easier to see. As I said before, I had never used this yarn before, but this is really soft. This is very, very nice to work with. And uh, unlike, you know, some other cotton yarns, it will not be very abrasive on your hands. It's, ooh, it is soft. Really like this stuff. And so, Without further ado, you know what? Let's get started. Round one. Okay, by the way, I didn't mention it before, but I'm gonna be using a five millimeter hook. It's a size H. Really, you can use whatever it is that works best for you, as always. So I'm gonna start off with our slip knot and a chaining of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, going to be working into that first chain. Now, alternatively, like with a lot of my projects, you could do a chaining of four and a slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring. Personally, I think that this method works just as well, if not better. So we're going to be working into that first chain. The remaining six chains is going to count as a uh, double crochet and a chain three space. So working into that first chain, double crochet. And then chain three. And double crochet into that same chain. So right now we have two arches. We need two more. So chain three, double crochet into that same chain. And yes, it is stretching out right now. However, we can cinch that. That's not a problem. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna do that now. And so now we have three arches. We just need one more arch. So to finish this first round up, chain three, and then slip stitch into the, the third chain. One, two, three. To that third chain, slip stitch. There we go.
and there you are. Now that third chain, that is the top of our first double crochet. So we shall continue on with round two. Round two. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a chaining of three for our first double crochet. One, two, three. Then into the chain three space, seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then into the post, that double crochet, do a double crochet, and then follow suit for the rest of the round. So it's a double crochet into the double crochets and into the chain three spaces, seven double crochets. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the square blanket for the cloister shell stitch that I did a while back, this does follow suit for a bit, and then it will deviate from that pattern so that we can create the bag shape. See, I was inspired by a, uh, a grainy square stitch bag, how it incorporates decreases along the sides. So I've got four, I need three more. Incorporates decreases along the sides, but increases at the corners. And also was inspired by the cloister shell chevron. And I thought, hmm, could I incorporate these two together? And that's how I came up with this. Hope you guys like it. So let's see, I've got the three and I've got the four. Perfect. Okay, so then double crochet into the double crochet and then seven into this space. So really what we're doing is in creating the base where we are creating a square. And then once our square has become big enough, we will keep increasing at the corners, but decreasing along the sides. So I've got, what, five, six, and seven, yes? Yeah, good, okay. And then double crochet into the double crochet. And then seven double crochets into this chain three space. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and this should be seven. I always like to double count. Always, always. All right, and then from here, do a slip stitch into the top of this first double crochet that we did. And there we go. Ta-da! All right, so your piece should look something like this. All right, onwards to round three. Round three. Okay, start by chaining up one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's gonna count as a double crochet and a chain three space. Then into this same stitch right there, work a 
double crochet. It's a little bit fiddly to get in there, but it's worth it. There we go. There we are. Okay, so right now we're only creating one arch, and we will do the remaining arch when we come full circle. So from here, chain one, and then skipping two doubles, double crochet into the next three. It's one, two, and three. There we go. Chain one, skipping two doubles, and it's still going to be that same double crochet. It lines up nicely. So into that third double crochet, we're skipping two into the third double crochet, Chain three, double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. There, so we have two arches, and like I said, when we have come full circle, we'll finish up the second arch. We want to be in the center of the corner when we have come full circle. It makes it a lot easier in the long run, let me tell you. And let me just get this little tangle out. Not a big deal. There we go. Came right out. Okay, so from here, chain one, skip two doubles, double crochet into the next three, there we go, chain one, skip two stitches into that third, we're creating another corner, so that's double, chain three, double, chain three, and double. There. Chain one, skip two stitches, double crochet into the next three. Chain one, skip two stitches into the next double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, pull out some more yarn, and double crochet into that same stitch so that we have our two arches. Chain one, skip two stitches, double crochet into the next three. Chain one, and then Skipping those two stitches, going to work into that first one down below. Now, you could work into this side or on this side. Either way, it's fine. Double crochet, chain three, and I need more yarn already. Goodness. Okay, so that's one two, three, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. There. 
There we go. And slip stitch. Okay. So as you can see, we have our two arches in each of our corners, and your piece should look something like this. Okay. Round four. Okay, so right now we're going to start by chaining up three for our corner double crochets into the chain three spaces, seven double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Chain one, and then into the center double crochet, do one double crochet. chain one, and then into the next chain three space, seven double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven, double crochet into the corner double crochet. Then I'm going to follow suit with each remaining side. So whenever you reach a, a double crochet, it's a double crochet in the double crochet, seven per chain three space, chain one, double crochet into the middle double crochet, chain one, seven in the chain three space, and double crochet into that post, that corner post. So let's do another side together. Seven doubles in the chain three space. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, double crochet into that middle double crochet, chain one, seven double crochets into the next chain three space. It's two, three, four, five, six, and seven, double crochet into the double crochet, and then keep on doing the same thing for the remaining two sides. Now, when you have come full circle and you did your seven doubles, your chain one, your one double crochet, your chain one, and your seven double crochets into this chain three space right here, then finish up by doing a slip stitch to that top third chain of your first double crochet to finish up round four. And I will see you in a bit. Round five. Okay, so round five is gonna be similar to the row that we had down here with a slight difference. So I'm gonna start off by again chaining up six for a double crochet and a chain three space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twen
two, three, four, five, six, and double crochet into that same stitch at the base there. There we go. So we have half of one of our corners. From here, chain one, skip two stitches, and then into the next three, double crochet. There we go. You just have to be careful with this yarn that you make sure that you get all of the plies. That's the only drawback that I found with working with this. The softness is incomparable, but you just have to be careful about the plies. That's all. So did my three doubles, chain one. Now into this double crochet, do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. There we are. Chain one. Skipping two double crochets and then into the next three double crochet. It's one. Two. And three. Chain one. And we've reached the corner again. So skipping two stitches into that third one, which lines up very nicely. Going to do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet into that same stitch, chain three, and double crochet into, again, the same stitch. And that finishes up our corner. Chain one, skip two stitches, double into the next three. Okay. chain one, and then into that solitary double, do a double chain three double for a new arch. So double, one, two, three chains, almost, there we go, and double into that same stitch. Chain one, skipping two stitches into the next three, double crochet. Okay, chain one, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, I did my chain one, skipping two stitches, and then again into the corner, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. And that is another finished corner with your two arches. So right now it is one arch along the sides of our square, two arches for the corners, and 
building off of our existing fans here. It's three doubles. So, you know what? Let's do the rest of this round together since it works up pretty quickly. Okay, so chain one. Skip two doubles, double into the next three. Chain one into that double crochet, double, chain three, double. Double, one, two, three, and double. Chain one, skip two stitches, double into the next three. Okay. Chain one, skip two stitches, working another corner with the two arches. So that's double, chain three, double, chain three, and double. All into that same stitch. And we're on the last, last side of our square. So from here, chain one, skip two stitches, double into the next three. Chain one into that one double crochet, do a double, chain three, double, double, one, two, three, and double, a bit more yarn, chain one, skipping the first two stitches, double into the next three, chain one, and then going to double crochet into the same stitch. Like I said, it can be a little bit fiddly, but it is worth it. So double crochet into that same stitch, the base of our first double, chain three, and slip stitch to the third chain of that first double. So you still have a chain three in between. And slip stitch. There we go. Okay. So your piece should now look something like this. It's looking gorgeous already. Round six. Okay. Now, round six, you are going to see some definite similarities and repetition of the growth. So, I'm going to start by chaining up three for our corner double crochet into the chain three space, seven doubles. So, I've got two. Three, four, okay, missed the ply on that one. That's okay though. Got four, yes. Five, six, 
six, and this should be a seven. Okay, got three and four. Good. Okay. Like I said, I love working with this yarn. You just have to be careful about the plies. That's all. All right, from here, chain one, double crochet into the center, double crochet of the three. Chain one into the chain three space. Yep, another seven double crochets. So this is two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, double crochet into the center of the three doubles, chain one, and we reach the corner. So it's going to be seven double crochets into that first chain three space. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Double crochet into the corner double crochet. Missed apply. There we go. There. Okay. Then, I mean, that, that's kind of negligible. I can worry about that later. All right, then seven double crochets into this chain three space. That's three. Four, five, six, and seven. Yes. Okay, so I've got my three and my four, that post, the three, and then the four. Okay, good. All right, so let's do another side together. So chain one and double crochet into the middle of the three. Chain one, seven doubles into the chain three space. One, two, pull out some more yarn. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, double crochet into the middle of the three doubles. Chain one, and then skipping over to our corner again into that chain three space, seven doubles. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Double crochet into that corner, double crochet. And then, of course, seven double crochets into this next chain three space. And that's really what you're going to do for the remainder of this round. So I've already got three, four, five, six, and 
seven. Okay. Pull that out. Just double count. All right, I've got four and three. Got my post there. Got my three and my four. Perfect. Okay, so from here, for the rest of the round, <clears throat> from here I would chain one, double crochet in the center, chain one, seven double crochets, chain one, one double crochet in the center, chain one, seven, woo, seven into the chain three space, one in the post, seven in the space, chain one, double in the center one, chain one, seven in the chain three space, chain one, double in the center, chain one, seven doubles in this chain three space, and then slip stitch to the top third chain of our initial double crochet. Okay, so I have faith in you that you can do the remainder of this round, and I will see you in a bit. One moment. Okay, round seven. So your piece should look something like this at the moment. And this round, round seven, is actually going to be the last normal round before we start doing our shaping of the bag. So let's start off with a chaining up of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And double crochet into the base of that first double where we slip stitched. There we are. Chain one. Skip the first two doubles, double in the next three. And at this point, all of this should seem very familiar to you because we are pretty much following suit with what we've been doing before. So the three doubles, chain one into that solitary double, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. There we go. Chain one. Skip the first two of the fan, going into the next three with doubles. Chain one. Into the solitary double, double, chain three, double. Chain one, skip the first two doubles, double into each of the next three. Chain one, skip two stitches into that center corner stitch, double, chain three, double, chain three, and double. Okay. So we've got one side down. Let's do another one together. All right, so from here, chain one, skip the first two doubles going into the next three with doubles. Chain one into the solitary double, double, chain three, double. Okay. 
chain one, skip the first two doubles, double into each of the next three, Go, pull out a bit more yarn. Chain one into the solitary double, chain three, double. Chain one. Skip the first two stitches, double into each of the next three. Chain one. Skip two stitches. Again, we reached the corner, so that will be double chain three, double into that same stitch, chain three, and double into that same stitch, chain one, and we've got two more sides to go, which I think we can do together. Okay, let's keep on, let's keep on keeping on, shall we? Okay, so to keep on keeping on, we're going to skip the next two stitches, double crochet into each of the next three. Chain one, into the solitary, double, chain three, double. Chain one, skip the first two, double into each of the next three. Chain one, into the solitary, double, chain three, double. Chain one, skip the first two, double into the next three. Chain one, skip the next two into that corner, double, chain three, double. chain three, and double into that same stitch, because we need those two arches. There we go. Chain one, skip two stitches, double into the next three. Chain one into the solitary. Almost had it. There we go. Double chain three and double. Chain one, skip two stitches, double into the next three. Chain one, 
chain one into the solitary double chain three double Okay, chain one, skip the first two stitches, double into each of the next three. Chain one, okay, then into the base of this first double. Get right in there and double crochet, chain three, and slip stitch to the, the third chain. Da -da. Da -da -dum. Da -da -dum. And there you go. Okay. And it is a thing of beauty already. Okay. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude part one of this tutorial. I really hope that you're enjoying it. Uh, next part, we are going to talk about the shaping of the bag, which includes decreases on the sides and increases at the corners so that it can continue to maintain its circumference and of course also the handles so stay tuned for more and also again thank you very very much to lion brand for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching and joining and you know what to do until next time right i want all of you to stay inspired stay caffeinated stay stitching and please stay safe Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.